What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about my underrated badge list so far. These are just some of it, I haven't covered all badges yet so there could be some other underrated badges that you can add on the list so if you know any, please leave it in the comment section down below. And by the way, for those who missed my recent videos, all these will be on the channel so it would be really awesome if you guys can check it out so now let's get right into it. So first, just want to make it clear, when I say underrated, it doesn't necessarily mean that the badge is OP, that it's a must-have or it's one of the top badges, it's not like that. Underrated means it deserves more recognition than what it currently has. So first on the list, Claymore. Based on the comments that I read ever since the release, I realized that there's still a lot of players that don't know how it really works. There's some that thinks that it works like set shooter badge that you need to have the ball in your hands before the 2 second timer starts. They don't know that as you stop off ball, timer starts already. So I think because of that, it makes the badge underrated because some players don't appreciate it. But it's actually a good badge, especially for catch and shoot players who just sits at the corner, especially it's not that expensive. If you want to know more about the badge, there's a full breakdown on the channel. Next on the list, Clutch Shooter Badge on Park. I think not much player know that the activation rate of the badge on park modes is really good. I think there's an impression that the badge only works on the final moments, but it's not actually like that because based on my test, if the score is at least 15 and 8 no matter what side you are on before you take the shot, which is still a lot of game left, badge can activate already. If you want to learn more about it, just watch this video here on the channel. Next one, Floor General. Based on my test, it was confirmed that it adds plus 4 on your teammates' offensive attributes, which is kinda a good trade-off knowing that the badge is cheap, especially if you're playing 5v5 modes. There's a lot more details about this badge like what happens if you got two of those badges on your team, all those kind of setups, so if you want to learn more about it, just watch this video here on the channel. So before we proceed, just wanna invite you guys to like the video if liking so far, and if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed testings on stuff like badges, attributes, jump shots, dribbling styles, and lots of other stuff. And I'm doing YouTube full time so expect a lot of videos. Last year I made like around 400 videos so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Trust me, I got you covered for the whole year. So now going back, next one, Green Machine. This badge here is kinda on the edge of the list but I think this year it belongs to the underrated side. I think not much players realize that this year for the most part, it's either your shot is a miss or a green. Which means the activation rate of green machine this year is really better compared last year. Because in the past years, there's too much whites going on which kinda stops the badge from activating. And on top of that, based on my test, having it on bronze will give you a good kick already. Which is a good point for the badge. Next one, Workhorse. With lots of fumbles due to low pass accuracy on most players, plus the high tipped pass frequency on passing lanes, it gives this badge more activation. Since badge points this year are really scarce, I think some players neglect this badge, making it underrated. So again, if you know some other underrated badges, just leave it in the comment section down below so others can see. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.